They are. This is something impacting businesses all across the country, including nonprofits gearing up to help those in need this holiday season. Here at Harvest Hope, the CEO says it's all hands on deck to make sure that the community gets the food it needs. Every year, Harvest Hope Food Bank puts together holiday boxes to feed thousands of families in the community. But this year, the nonprofit says it is facing supply chain issues impacting donations. So a lot of our major retailers, our targets, Walmart distribution centers, food line distribution centers, they're very generous in what they give us. Those have been reduced simply because the supply is not there. To help meet the need, the organization is asking people in the community to donate. We're, you know, asking the community. We, it's it's going to take a partnership to really be able to look at the need here. Across town, Salvation Army is also preparing for the holiday season and its annual Angel Tree program. It reinstills hope in a family. It's encouraging families to adopt a child sooner rather than later. Uh, adopt angels and adopt them early. The sooner the better because we all know the supply chain is going to affect everything from green beans to Barbie dream houses. And so, and we have the luxury and the privilege of getting to deal with both here at the Salvation Army. Preparing ahead and making a difference one donation at a time. We also spoke with the United Way of Greenville and they will be doing their holiday program called Project Joy to help middle and high school students. The organization says it expects the need to be similar, if not greater than last year. For more on these programs and how you can help, visit our website, wyff4.com.